Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we're looking at Finn, a living fortification who brings a fight to himself. Depending on your frame of reference, Finn is either an unstoppable force or an immovable object. Though his movement is slow and deliberate, he has incredible control over the battlefield. Finn is unstoppable. Whenever an enemy attempts to stun, move, or heavily slow him, he is instead only slowed by a moderate amount. He's even shrugged off death itself, gaining increased health, armor, and shield from his items and effects. After aiming his quibble, Finn slams his anchor down, dealing heavy crystal damage and briefly slowing enemies. The overdrive for this ability upgrades a slow into a stun. I recommend learning and upgrading quibble first, and taking its overdrive. When Finn activates Polite Company, he stomps the ground beneath him, temporarily granting bonus defenses to his allies. The impact also pulls enemies slightly towards himself while dealing damage. Notably, the overdrive for this ability increases the distance that enemies are pulled in. I recommend learning Polite Company second and upgrading it last. When Finn activates his Forced Accord ultimate, he throws his anchor in a direction, pulling enemies towards his location and damaging them. Upgrading this ability also reduces the cooldown of the ability anytime he fails to land the hook on enemies. I recommend learning and upgrading this ability whenever available. Take the third rank over Polite Company's Overdrive when you need the hook available more frequently. In the Utility tab, Boots and Warhorn are high priority purchases as they compensate for Finn's slower pace and offer strong defensive bonuses. In the Defense tab, Fountain and Crucible are both strong items against general threats. Polite Company grants part of its defenses based on Finn's own defenses, so you can also focus on heavier armor or shield items to help protect your team from a specific damage type. Finally, Clockwork is typically good as early as you can safely pick it up, both for the cooldown acceleration and the increased energy regeneration. After finishing off the enemy jewel, Arden is falling back towards Finn. Finn engages with Polite Company, causing Arden to immediately turn on the enemy Catherine who in turn is hoping to bait the fight towards the approaching Celeste. Take note, Polite Company's defense bonus is a little bit deceptive. The barrier itself may seem small, but Finn is also giving Arden a big chunk of armor and shield, and Catherine's first merciless pursuit won't even dent him. Finn hooks Celeste and Catherine, pulling them right to his feet. Bringing two full health enemies into such a heavily injured pair would be a death sentence for many teams, but this is Finn and Arden we're talking about. Finn has landed his first quibble directly onto Celeste. Between this stun and the forced accord and polite company pulls, Celeste has so far only managed to drop a single star onto the field. The battle continues as Arden dodges a core collapse. This time, Finn's polite company will pull Catherine just out of range to attack Arden, and will give Arden enough defense to survive another star from Celeste. As Celeste is hit with another quibble and Catherine lands her merciless pursuit on Arden, this family reunion comes to a close. Finn and Arden's aggression has paid off though, with Catherine falling back and their team gaining an immediate map advantage. Jumping forward a little, a fight is broken out in the lane and Finn, as usual, is fashionably late. See this stun? Celeste has chosen to walk out of Arden's gauntlet in an attempt to avoid another close-in battle with Scarf and Arden. Gauntlet has a short grace period where an enemy can't be stunned again, but by waiting this out, Finn's forced accord brings her right back through and stuns her again. A quick quibble follow-up and Scarf's ultimate is able to mop up. Though we've looked at the pairing between Finn and Arden, Finn has strong synergy with many heroes, especially those who do very well in localized fights. He's strongest when an enemy needs to move through him to attack one of his allies, and as such, he makes a formidable front line. Thanks for watching the Finn Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store or Google Play and join us in the Halcyon Fold.